Stella, and I am the SolidWorks and SolidWorks PDM SME for SPK and Associates. Today I wanted to continue down the path that we were on previously, which was looking at the no database is connected to this view message. When we left off, we had done a number of things such as checking the version, we had gone ahead and um, done a ping test and a telnet test, and now we're moving on to checking the registry keys. This is something that is usually the culprit, um, so I'm going to cover it here. This is also covered a little bit more in depth in our previous no database is connected to this view video. That one is purely solution only. Uh, so here are the keys you'll want to look at. Again, you want to see these keys assist. Um, if they are missing, that is very much the culprit. Uh, so you'll want to go to these two keys if the vault is installed for every user on the machine. And just a little bit of background. When you're setting up your PDM vault, you have two options here on, on the view setup tool. You can select either only for me, which creates the vault only for the user who's logged in, or for all users on this computer, which is for all users. Uh, let's see here. So here are the keys you'll want to look at depending on the way your vault was installed. Uh, let's say that the keys exist, um, you're all set there. Um, what I would recommend doing next is to go ahead and uh, check the services on your database um, and archive server. Make sure all of the SolidWorks services are running, uh, particularly the database service and license, but you'll of course need the archive server service to be running as well. Um, as a PDM admin, you may have access to the server or you may need to contact your IT team. Uh, and next, so let's say all these services are turned on, you have your registry key, you can communicate with the server, you're connected to VPN if you need to be, um, and you're still running across this message. Um, at this point, I would reach out to other users. Have you replicated this yourself? Can you log into the vault without any issues? Um, if you do have multiple um, archive servers, if you are connected to their to the exact same archive server this user is connected to, do you have the same problem or are you able to uh, connect successfully? If this is a widespread issue, uh, there is definitely something on the server. I recommend getting the IT team involved, getting SQL team involved, or your SQL database administrator, uh, whoever has access and some knowledge there to take a look. It could be the SA password might need to be updated. Um, it could be a number of things there. But at that point, if all of these things ring true, everything is good, uh, the next step there is to replicate. Um, <clears throat> and you may have already done it. Like I said, try to re recreate this error message on your machine. See if you, can, uh, if you can create the same issue. If you can, or if you're re receiving other reports from users, this is likely something with the server that's going on. And finally, if uh, you are unable to uh, pinpoint the source of the issue, you've got your IT team, your SQL administrator, taking a look and not getting anywhere. At this point, I really recommend reaching out to your value added reseller um, to, to help troubleshoot further. For more SolidWorks tricks and tips, please stay tuned.